Hey Eric, we're out here on a 2018 F-250 for you. Thanks for the uh, inquiry online. And uh, I'm going to shoot you a video, give you a walk around, point out the things that I would want to know if I were buying it. And uh, any scratches, dents, dings, rock chips, or otherwise on the outside, as well as the uh, operation of the truck. And there is one thing that I've already called the uh, service shop about, and we're going to have it looked at for you, and I'll detail that for you when we get there. So, I'm uh, going to start the video with the uh, hood up so you can hear the motor. We'll take a look at it. There you go. Front of the truck looks good. Uh, got a few water droplets on there and some dust collecting and it looks like we got a bug under there. There we go. Um, so, this is the Platinum Limited. This thing is loaded. It's a great looking rig. Um, I don't see anything on the front that would alarm me or that I think I would have to point out that you can't see. Uh, headlights look clear. Probably needs to be uh, fluffed up a little bit, cleaned up a little bit, because it's been sitting out here and it collects dust every time it rains and all the pollen in the air right now. Setting on some uh, all-terrain tires and fuel wheels. These are 20-inch uh, rims, or yeah, rims from fuel. New tires. I'm gonna shoot you underneath here so you can see underneath. This is there we go just a little hair all right we'll get in the driver's seat here in just a minute but we'll go ahead and check out the paint and all on the truck from the outside inside the door as well as the power ports and uh, AC vents in the back plenty of leg room now I'm six foot and that's where that seat is sitting with me in it so you can see how much leg room is back here in the back. All right. These are the limited leather seats. Got the panoramic sunroof in the back. So the one thing I want to point out while I'm sitting over here is if you'll notice, this actually has a power step to it. And uh, it's rolled up in there and comes out sporadically so i'm going to have that looked at for you uh when the doors open it should be down as it is on the other side but we're going to take a look at that for you and get that fixed got a little scratcher here been fixed and this is from pretty close inside the gas tank there we go and then across the back same tires along the back i'm gonna get up underneath here go so paint down the driver's side looks great and limited tailgate across the back and this should be just a push button release there we go spray and bed liner tie down hooks as well as the step off the back there you go and you're probably familiar with these anyway the uh, bar to get to help you get up in the bed of the truck so put this back down real quick sorry about the uh, camera agility there there we go we got the power ports in the back for the trailer and brake assist this one comes with the ball hitch on it and it looks like I'm not sure I'll have to look at the key to see if we have a key to that you may have yourself a ball hitch you can't get off. Paint down the passenger side. Again, up underneath. And then to the point I was making a few minutes ago on the driver's side, this power step is down like it should be. I'm gonna look inside the rear passenger door.
All right. And then on the front passenger side, I don't see any scuffs or scratches on it. Passenger seat looks good. We've got the floor mats in them as well. All right, so let's go around and get in on the driver's side. Here goes the power step. Give it a second. It'll run up in there like it should. So the passenger side is working fine. I'll have to figure out what's going on with the driver's side. And forgive my uh, camera handling as I get in this thing here in just a minute. Driver's side door controls for the locks, mirrors, windows, power seat controls, dimmer switches, light switches, brake uh, pedal adjustment. There we go. I'm going to try to get up here without wrecking my video. There we go. 41,965,000 miles. Basic warranty is out of it. Gauge control panel shows no check engine lights. And we've got the, let's see if I can shoot this correctly here. Your controls on the left side for your uh, cruise control volume and uh, on dash computer and as well your volume and all for your Bluetooth and your phone over here 4 by 4 selection trailer backup assist as well as your uh, brake assist and your center console which is pretty standard um, overhead console and let's see if we can Or, let's see here there's the screen that's the third button there we'll stop it let's take it back I know this isn't a video of uh, sunroof operation but and then for the uh, sunroof let me hold that better there we go go then we'll close it all right there you have it the other thing I didn't point out on the video was uh, your front antenna looks like a 50 cal round and in my book that's pretty cool all right and I'm gonna give you a quick shot of the console here looks like you've got your wheel locks in there as well all right, so hopefully I haven't missed anything. If you see anything in this video, Eric, that uh, raises questions you want more information about, uh, let me know. I can take further pictures, do more investigating, and as soon as I get this vehicle over to the service shop to have the uh, power step on the driver's side looked at, I will uh, let you know. But overall, man, this is a great looking rig. I'll get this uploaded to YouTube and over to you shortly. Thanks.